Hi, my dear students. Hope you are safe and healthy. Now I'm going to give an information about sport vocabulary to be more concrete equipment of sport. First word, a puck. What is puck? From the picture you may see that a hockey puck is a disc made of vulcanized rubber that serves the same function in various games as a ball. The best known use of puck is in ice hockey. It's black, as you see in the picture, with 25 mm thick, 76 mm in diameter and weights between 158 and 170 gram. Example, the keeper couldn't keep the puck out of the net. A shuttlecock. Shuttlecock is used in badminton. It weighs around 4 or 5 gram. It has 16 feathers. The diameter of the cork is 25 or uh, 28 millimeter. The diameter of the circle is around 58 and 68 millimeters. Example. The players hit the shuttlecock over the net. Also, you may call it as a shuttle. Dugout. The place where the coach and substitutes sit. Here you can see different kind of dugouts. Example. The coach pointed to one of the players in the dugout and they started to warming up. A clash. A clash when two big teams play each other or an important game. It means that uh, it's your opponent players. Example, Manchester United clash with the Liverpool this weekend. The underdog. Underdog is a person or group in competition who is popularly expected to lose. The party team expected to win is called the favorite or top dog. This is an antonym of the top dog. In the case where an underdog wins, the outcome is an upset. I love betting on the underdog. You always getting great odds. To dribble the ball. To dribble the ball is maneuvering a ball by one player while moving in a given direction avoiding defenders, attempting to intercept the ball. A successful dribble will bring the ball past defenders legally and create opportunities to score. Usually, to dribble the, doll, um, the ball, we may uh, see in the football. Example, Messi is good at dribbling, especially when he is running at the fence. A timeout. Here you can see two hand and it uh, points out the letter T. With the help of the hands, we are pointing out the letter T. It means uh, a strategic break to determine strategy or inspire moral as well as to stop the game. In some sport like basketball, the coach may call a timeout to plan what to do. Sportsmanship. Very important word in sport, sportsmanship is an aspiration or essence that a sport or activity will be enjoyed for its own sake. This is with proper consideration for fairness, ethics, respect and the sense of fellowship with one's competitors. I think each sportsman should be a sportsmanship and should include all these features in it. Example. It's good sportsmanship to help the other team player up after a fall. An umpire. Umpire is a person whose job is to make sure that a sport match or contest is played fairly and that the rules are not broken. The umpire's decision is final. Example, the umpire asked the crowd to be quiet. Track spikes. Track spikes are race, racing shoes used by athletes when racing on the track. Track spikes had become popular in England by 1860s, but the concept of spikes in shoes to give running traction has been around much longer. Example, 
The cost of my track spikes are $2,300. And the last word is mouse guard. Here is the word guard is very um, much used and you know this word. Mouse guard is a protective device for the mouse that covers the teeth and gums to prevent and reduce injury to the teeth. It means that it protects our mouse. And the example, boxers use more guards, uh, use mouse guards more than hockey players. So my dear students, this is the end of my presentation and we will continue our sport vocabulary at our next presentations. Thank you for your attention.